We're gonna have Mr. Irving. He's been flying a helicopter around the world and he's gonna land it here. And what we have is we have different engineering, different science, technology, and mathematics things going on. So we're gonna have mousetrap cars and we're gonna have the helicopter land. And there's also gonna be police and paramedics and fire trucks here. Um, I'm very excited, you know, that we get to meet Mr. Irving, which is his name. And I just hope everybody has a good time. Thomas Jefferson said, if you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. And this STEM day is something we have not done, but this is our first year and we will continue to do these type of events so that the community can see everything that is happening in Compton Unified and inside our classroom with our students. Our students are doing amazing work in project-based instruction using technology, using engineering strategies, and mathematics. First and foremost, I want to congratulate all of you students for your participation thus far in our Project Lead the Way program, our Flying Classroom program, and just our overall STEM educational program. And so give yourselves and your teachers a round of applause for that. So I want to introduce Levi Thornhill. Levi Thornhill, back in World War II, was a crew chief. A crew chief is the one that fixed and repaired the airplanes, the P-51 Mustang, which back in the day was the most technologically advanced aircraft ever. Levi Thornhill would tell the pilots, okay, we're pilots, we go and fly the helicopter, Barrington knows. Levi would say, okay, Go out, do your thing, but remember, that's my airplane. Make sure you bring it back so I can fix it, so it can fly again. So the pilots got all the glory, but he made it possible for the pilots to get the glory. So I'm Captain Barrington Irving. I set a Guinness World Record in 2007, being the youngest person to fly by myself around the world. This year, I partnered with Compton Unified School District where we transformed a jet into a real-life magic school bus that we call the Flying Classroom. We work with Davis Middle School as I travel through Asia, Australia, Indonesia, conducting a number of STEM projects. So we did 16 expeditions this year with the Flying Classroom, and Davis Middle School followed us and participated in our curriculum. Davis Middle School is the only reason why I came to LA. I switched from Denver to come right here to Compton Thanks to just the great feedback we've gotten from teachers, students, and administrators here. Uh, STEM is huge. You know, I, I grew up in a rough neighborhood as well in Miami. Never thought that I'd be a pilot, an explorer, using math and science to do amazing things. I didn't think I was smart enough to become a pilot until I met a African-American pilot who changed my life. That was Captain Gary Robinson. He flew a Boeing 777 for United. And I think a lot of kids are just intimidated by these fields and they're not exposed to it. You know, how do you show a kid what it's like to be a pilot or what it's like to be a biomedical engineer? They don't see it, they don't believe it, they can't perceive a future for them in doing it. Uh, we, the students work together to make a model of the giant cell. 
and we have plants and animal cell. Every living thing is made up of cell. So what we did to make, we made a very big cell plant, not animal cell. Basically all the organelles you have in animal cell, you have the same in plant cell. And every living thing is basically made up of a cell. Tiny little cells building blocks of life. But we just have a little part that want to make it bigger to show people what it looks like in real life. Hi, I'm Bunse. I'm in eighth grade and we're celebrating right now STEM Day, but we like to call it STEAM Day because we we incorporate art into this into this um event. So what we did here was that we flew kites. Although it may seem easy, it's not because we had to measure the height, the height of the kites. So we used the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're not going to get anywhere without continuing that the science, education, this is a good start. This is a big school and they are doing great things. Because they are motivated, they realize the importance that this is to the youngsters coming.